Hey everybody, do I have your permission to facilitate this meeting today? You sure do. Sure do. I okay. I Captain Sweep. <laughs> so so much so I'm used to one of you at a time to to have all four of you. It's it's this is a powerful experience for me. <laughs> hang on, hang on for the ride, right? <laughs> yeah. I better just at the beginning here. Um, why don't I just sort of write down, because I'm sure you've got other things you want to talk about too, if this is your one weekly time to talk. Um, do you want to just sort of popcorn at me things you want to talk about to get settled? Um, what do we need to talk about? Uh, well, it's usually our to-do list. What's happened on our to-do list is kind of what we go over in this time. And so if there's anything kind of outstanding and then we have to, and then what our next time is to kind of set up and stuff like that, right? How our sessions were with you, we kind of use the time for that too and kind of touch base. So as far as a to-do list, if it's a maintenance, if it's stuff in the hub here physically, I don't want to use Elijah's time for that. Oh no, he was just asking what we normally do. So I was just listing what we normally do in our meeting, whether we're going to do it together or not, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me? I just changed my phone here. Yes. Yeah, so th there's nothing pressing from anyone or everyone about something that you really want to have a... Lori, do you, do you, can you tilt your the laptop? Do you, and do you have any lighting? Do you have any... Uh, some oh, I'm go. Yeah, um, just our own. <laughs> can you see so I'm in the same room just as Sylvia. We're on the same computer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see one of you. <laughs> oh, you can't see one of us? Right? Can you see us both now? Yeah. Okay. I was joking. Okay, we'll put you away a little bit and then it's a little brighter. There you go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now, the, there's a number of things I guess I want to talk about, but the, the first thing is half of you have seen and half you haven't. That's the, the survey. Uh, that can be either given to people from the get-go or after the hub factor. And I was wondering, would you like to go through the survey as a team and so get everyone's feedback at the same time sort of thing? Yeah, that sounds good. Christy, would you mind going through it again? Is that, is that fine? Okay. okay. Okay, so that's the first thing I'll bring up. Um, where is it? Just a sec. Okay. This modern technology, it's so easy to do things. See that set now? Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. I want available. Okay, so have you seen the Oh, there mm -hmm. we go. Okay. It seems brighter. It is brighter. Mm -hmm. Sir, where are you? Okay. And can someone take notes in terms of what needs to be changed or something like that? Okay. Well, I've, I've, I'll i just add to my notes that I had from today. Okay. Okay. Oh, Cool. So I use a lot of the cards and uh, if you just see the kind of, uh, it's taken a while. It just needs a second to get, um, there we okay, go. Okay, so, so at the top, it doesn't quite do like, it, it, it puts a banner across rather than the, so we can either make it maybe a lot smaller and have a visionary hub with the with your basic logo, or we could have it like this. I guess we yeah. could shrink it and then it would just be a lot smaller. Sylvia, Sylvia has the logo done in landscape style, like in banner style. So if she sends you that one, Elijah, you can just use that. Okay. It may, again, it's a size restriction too, because it depends on how big it is. Okay. Um, yeah. I think oh. I'd rather have it look small and have the whole logo yeah. than it to be landscaped. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it's too small. Okay. 
Donna. So do you want me to read it as we go through or? Yeah. Okay, the Visionary Hub Relationship Assessment Survey. In order to fully understand where you're currently coming from and what you want, we need to ask a number of questions that clarify this in detail. This should take about 15 minutes to complete. And feedback on that, more explanation, more description, or? I, I think that's pretty good. The visionary have a relationship assessment survey. Well, so I guess relationship to me, when we went through this whole thing, Elijah, it wasn't just about relationships, right? Like it was about your values and how you kind of see yourself and stuff like that. So I don't know, because to me, if it were just relationships, it would only be one avenue. So I think this is like, you could call it an awareness assessment or like a vision vision i don't know something like that well okay but i think this is from the perspective of the visionary hub to that person so mm -hmm. this is the relationship of that person to the visionary hub so there's we're assessing that relationship mm -hmm. okay so At least that's that's, that's the pers that's the intent that may not come across though okay. okay and and explain to me what 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 would be the purpose of that well it's it's sort of like okay the we want people after the survey, you have all the information you need um, to sort of diagnose where they're from and how you can help them. And so that's what this purpose is. The purpose is to send it to them. They've come to the hub factor or they haven't come to the hub factor, but one of those two things, they've come to the hub factor and then they go, what do I do next? Fill out the survey and Chris, you had a good idea. You could do it there at the hub factor or you send it to them and they do it at home or you just meet someone anyone like this is sort of like your, your, your potential clients anywhere and you go, well, you know, are you interested? We can send you the survey and based upon the survey, then we can figure out if there's a fit or not kind of thing. Yeah. I, I like that concept. I think I do struggle a little bit with the word relationship. I think that's confusing to people a little bit. Okay. Any other, okay. Ideas for needs assessment no um, no is there no. A, what if you just said that? the visionary hub assessment survey without the word relationship and just left it at that and left it open leave, left, yeah. left it open visionary hub assessment survey does that work for everybody I need it. yeah 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 so in order to better understand you we need to uh, clarify with some questions okay perfect yeah okay so then we're going through the seven step pulse process and again, I sort of want to reiterate that the idea behind it is that it's it's at 2.7, so it's at path. So each one of the, the parts of the flow wheel have a next stage down where things get organized. So this is the seven steps to the start, the setup, the buildup, the crescendo, ease out, connect and unify, and finish. Mm -hmm. And so that's, if you're looking at putting events in a row, if you're looking at one event and you're breaking it up into parts and you're looking at the crescendo being your sweet spot, the, the main offering, the thing that people are really there for, and then everything else is based upon you're either moving to the crescendo or you're coming off the crescendo, so to speak. Okay. So, and then each one of these has a conversation type. And so the idea is that you can design an amazing process using the seven step pulse model and the conversation cards. You've got 72 conversation cards. They can be ordered in any way you want. But when you, when you figure out how to design processes, combining those two parts, that's one of the main offerings of the hub or the new paradigm toolkit, or you can create design your ideal job around this. You can help people find their way with this. Um, so that's, that's the background structure to the survey. And in a lot of things we're going to be using is we're, we're giving them tastes of something ahead of time. And then you show them along the way how to use the tools or what they are. I, I would um, also then maybe in the, like the start where it says, where are you? I would maybe just tweak that a little, like where are you at in life or something just to yeah. give them a little bit more um, direction. Because some people will just say, well, I live in Regina. I'm in Yorkton. <laughs> that's a good, that's good. Yeah. 
Where are or you? Even, and what is your vision? Yeah. Or just what is your vision? Like, is that two questions at once? Like, is it, uh, should it be a vision question? What stage of life are you in and what is your vision? Yeah, because that's stage is like, you know, maybe I'm starting a business or I'm home with my kids or I've been in my career and I'm thinking of retiring. Yeah, yeah. What stage of life are you in? Are you at? Yeah. What stage is it of at life? or in? It's what stage at. of life are you at? At in life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. then to be in life. And what is your vision for the future? Mm -hmm. There you go. And it might be, I want to retire and travel. I want to travel the world. Or I want to, okay, that's, that's good. You right. need to take, um, what, it, what stage of life are you at? And take out in life, right? So you don't need that, right? What stage of life are you at? And what is your vision for the future? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Good. Good. Okay. So the first part is a needs analysis convo. So to identify what the needs are of each party before they reach an agreement. Mm -hmm. And then the first question is, do you have a vision you want to help to bring into the world? Then we have the choice land vision, a vivid imaginative conception or anticipation of something that has yet to be. And so I do not have vision and I do not want one right away, then that would sort of end things. Uh, I do not have a vision, but I would like one, which is good. I have a vision and do not need help, which is, again, uh, not really going to go that far. I have a vision and I need a little help. I have a vision and I need a lot of help. So for the visionary hub, like it's really, I can see that, you know, the visionary hub, right? You know, come with your vision and you guys are going to help them bring it into the world. So we got to find out about that, right? So does that work for everyone? That's fine. Yeah, really good. Okay, what is your current work status? Status, the state or condition of affairs. And then youth, student, unemployed, part-time work, full-time work, and retired. Okay, so, that's, so again, if there's a missing option, let me know. Um, but that's basically, again, like each question is gonna narrow them down into exactly who they are and where they're at in their life. Go back to your top question or your top thing. Okay. So the what is your current work status? So, so student doesn't work. Yeah, like the answers don't reflect the question. So I wonder if it needs to be employment status. Um, no, but like work status. Well, you've got youth. Student. Well, youth is sort of like pre-work, right? Student is you're learning to do work. Unemployed is you have no work. Part-time work, full-time work, or work, and then retired is after work. So. Okay. So. Yeah, that's all I was checking. Um, so, okay, so we're only clicking one of everything, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Because I could say part-time work and retired could be both of mine, right? Do you want me to make it so it's not multiple choice, but multiple click? So uh, somebody can choose both? I don't know. Like, do we want to give that option? I, th I think this... I'm a student this... part-time work. Yeah, it could both. be both, right? Student and part-time. So yeah, you probably should have it selected. So would there be self-employed in there at all or anything like that? You well, that could be, that's more full-time like. Oh, okay, okay. Full-time uh, entrepreneur, okay. Because yeah. I look at- we're, we're not distinguishing how they're working or what they're working at, just like whether they're working or not. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, then are you currently doing what you love to do? To value the direct and open loving connection with someone or something mm -hmm. then not at all once in a while sometimes a lot of the time all the time that's awesome oh, yeah that's great can you go back up though because is there i just want to see if there's periods at one point and not the other scroll up, up. Higher. lower oh you mean periods at the end of each thing yeah i just don't we don't have to just so it's consistent right and maybe there isn't. I just no. It's a good point because I yeah. here they well, have because it's more of a sentence. Mm -hmm. Here it's more of a word, so it's not. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Yeah. So sort of like yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, good eye. Oh, yeah. Good eye. Okay. Do you know what a mastermind group is? Intelligence to value the capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and similar forms of mental activity. 
And then yes, kind of, and no. Yeah. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Is that okay? <laughs> then sort of the only picture, do you desire being part of a supportive mastermind? And I don't know, I was sort of drawn into this, thinking that this could be a very good mastermind experience. Maybe not. Um, I don't know if you guys are Lord of the Rings fans, but it's, you know, it's a pretty big story everywhere. Okay. And it's yeah. sort of, I don't know if that's a real mastermind, but it's just, it gives a conveying of be on a team, the team does well kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. I do not know what a mastermind is. I would need more information before I could decide. And yes, I would. And no, I wouldn't. I don't think, I don't know what a mastermind is because the question above you said, do you know what a mastermind is? So I think you could take out, I don't know what it is because they would have. Well, oh, because I they've don't... already done it. No, actually, yeah. do you desire being part of a support group? They could still oh. be no on both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. So is that fine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so that's the... Uh, okay, so now we go to section two, the setup. <clears throat> what do you want to improve? At the Visionary Hub, we have many ways to assist you to bring your vision into reality. <clears throat> Which one of the following areas of your life do you want to help in? So primary conversation type investigation to find out what is required to be uncovered with a set goal in mind. Mm -hmm. And then how interested are you in increasing your communication skills? The subsystem that facilitates the flow of information throughout the systems network. Mm -hmm. And then uh, not interested at all to extremely interested from one to 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pretty, are... pretty simple. Yeah. Um, the next one, what, which of these meta conversational fields would you like to better communicate in? And Chrissy had already pointed out meta probably isn't a good word. And I just don't know what it means. Like, so if I, and I'm thinking of people who come to the hub, maybe wouldn't be familiar with that. Right. So we've got social field, business field, friendship field, intimate field, service field, and family field. And this is the beginning of sort of like the models coming in as a background to organize things. Yeah. And in your conscious communication card set, mm -hmm. the six meta, these are like the six meta conversational fields. So they're like, <clears throat> they distinguish all communication afterwards. And the, the 72 conversational types are mainly business field condos. Mm -hmm. So what we're distinguishing is these six as different, you know, real big boundaries. Okay. Um, I think the the thing, like when I read it, yes, this is what we're going to be working with, but we're giving this to someone who might be not familiar with the visionary hub, might not know us or have just met us, that I think there needs to be a little bit, like just a little bit more connection or something like that, because I just don't feel like it, if, if we're talking ultimately, this is for someone who's new to the process or newer that we're going to try and, and do, I would get lost and I might stop doing the quiz because it's like, I don't, because you have to answer, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So I took the meta out. I think yeah. you were saying that we might <clears throat> ex explain something a bit more here, like what a field is kind of. Well, I just, because it's a new term that I don't know as many people would be familiar with when you're relating to conversation, right? Okay, maybe what we could say is uh, fields have a unique boundary oh. and impact mm -hmm. the context you are communicating within. Oh, yeah. Would that be enough? That uh, uh, so fields have a unique boundary and impact. Impact the context you are communicating within. And impact the context. You're okay. And then I guess then they see the social yeah. business. Then then would that be enough? You think? Yeah, I think it adds more clarity. So you've said what the field is. If they don't know, for people that do, then and their examples are there. So I think they would be able to do that. Because I, I, I agree field is a new term for most people. And I think it's, you know, there's going to be some things which they know and, and some things which they don't. And you got to be careful, just like Christy said, that we don't want to have them disconnect before it ends, right? So right. better be safe than sorry, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. How interested are you in your own self-development? So mm-hmm. learn like, like the four main ones are communication, learning, creativity, and healing. So all the tools are focused. I, I think if you if you just always focus on those, mm-hmm. you can help someone learn, communicate, communi- learn, create, communicate, and heal. And those are four like major terms that you use all the time. Like that's how we help you mm-hmm. to learn how to learn, to learn how to communicate, learn how to create, and learn how to uh, heal. Yeah. So those With- are the four main categories. <laughs> here and it's i mean most people are going to probably say yes right because those are those are good ones then the same uh from zero to ten not interested extremely interested again you're going to get a very good idea about you know where Mm -hmm. they're at so how interested are you in healing your shadow elements um christy brought that up before that might not be a good terminology uh, healing to hold space so that the people in the conversation could express their pain so now you're bringing in healing which I think is a big part of this, but people probably don't quite know in the beginning, right? They, they don't quite know what they're getting into. And well, so- I don't know what shadow elements are. It's the worst, like, you know, when we do the Enneagram personalities and we look at the levels of health within the personalities, there's the best of the eight and the worst of the eight. So the so- shadow would be the worst of the eight. But But you're not going to be there to explain it to me, right? So I'm taking this on my own. So I won't, like, I'm just thinking, I'm probably the newest to the terminology. I would have no idea. And I'd be like, I don't know. Okay, what do you suggest, Christy? Yeah, what kind of words? How interested in you, are you, how interested are you in becoming your best self through healing? Or I don't know, like. I, I like that. through healing through healing what through healing yeah through uh, healing that which you want to change through healing uh well i just i don't know just healing. Uh, well because it's to hold space so that people in the conversation can express their pain so how interested are you are becoming your best self through healing so if you scroll up um i want to be my best self and if it means i have to do some healing i like that's a way it's pretty safe yeah, and what I think. We... Yeah, no, go ahead. No, if you just go down or scroll up again. Um, yeah, so how interested are you in becoming your best self through healing? Because, I, yeah, I think if we give them too much, like sometimes healing is a trigger word to people yeah. and they shut, they shut down before you even, like most of them, most people I work with don't acknowledge there is any healing until you get later in the process. Right. Yeah. So I think we just keep it as, big as but succinct as possible like does healing is there any other word we could use not really and i don't know i don't know that there's anything else we need to add because everybody's healing is going to look different yeah so So, um, could it could it be one of the other convo cards in synergy like um clearing clearing i thought there's connecting Mm -hmm. Like, how interested are you in connecting to your best self? Like something along that line where healing isn't the element. Or that it is, but it isn't. So you... Then you can take it, like Carrie said, so the healing is going to definitely come out of it. But if you're not willing to connect with your best self, and then as you're working through the process with people, the healing part will ultimately come up. Because I think you're right, people... If you don't, if you aren't self-aware enough to know that something's broken or not working, you, you aren't even examining why things aren't working in your life. You're just existing and you're okay. Does connecting work? Are you guys okay with that word instead of healing? So they're synchronizing, synergizing, clearing, conflict resolution, appreciation and grieving. So, I like connecting because that word comes up a lot in our hub factor. Okay, so how do we structure the first question? That how do, how interested are you in connecting to your connecting best self? To your best yeah. self, yeah. yeah. It's through healing or not even mentioning it? healing. Don't even use healing for now. Okay, I got you. That's a good idea. 
And then the next level of work would be into healing yeah. when people are ready. Yeah. No, that's smart. Yeah. Are you in connecting, connecting to your best self? Yeah. To your best self. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's good. Uh, Christy. Uh, creativity. How interested are you in activated your activating your creative potential? And then the same, not interested and extremely interested. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now this is one which may or may not be a good idea. <clears throat> How interested are you in building a new economic paradigm centered in love? And again, Christy brought up the, the point that people may not know really about paradigms and anyway. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. I like the idea that you're coming from a place of fear and through this process oh. you're moving to a place of love like and the past is the fear and the present is the future or sorry the love is the future like in terms of the whole idea this is the first map like, yeah. and this is the choice in the present moment, right? Which one do you want to be in? So I, I like to bring it in at the beginning because it is like the first map. And, it, but I understand that again, to new people, it's, this is, this is probably the big, huh? Yeah. I wonder about the word economic as well. Like if I was playing the, uh, the other side of it and I'm just coming for, I just want to work with somebody. And I don't really have much of a vision and I just, but I want to be part of something that is a new paradigm, but I'm not sure I want to be part of like changing the world. You know what or I mean? Life paradigm or something like that instead of new economic, like something along that line. Mm -hmm. Because I do want, I like the word paradigm, you guys, because that's where we're going. We're creating a whole new paradigm of a way to work in life. Should we put, should we say uh, what a paradigm is? Um, well, that's an idea. Yeah, why not start educating them slowly on the new language? Because so we paradigm is, rules, but we oh, want to bring yeah. in the new. Yeah. And so far I found that everybody that has come to us is very open to what we're doing, right? So I think we're already attracting the people that are open to new paradigm, to new procedures and things like that. Uh, we will run into, you know, people that just have a block in and whatever. And if that happens, we don't probably, we, will, we don't want those anyway until they're ready to receive the new information. So a paradigm is the underlying foundation of how a whole culture thinks and operates. Examples are patterns. Does that work? I think that's a lot better with that definition. Yeah. And, yeah. and then it, I like the consistency because we've got another one up further that also has an example. Field had an example because yeah. field is something new, right? Yeah. This is okay. great, Elijah. Okay. Okay. Now, number four, the buildup. Which team do you want to be in? Now, mm -hmm. this. This, I'll show you the whole thing, but that definitely needs some work there. So design specs <clears throat> to discuss what the design specs, specifications or product or, or GIF will be. Might not be that. So basically what we have here is then the 12 teams of the, of the shared knowledge community. Yeah. And then each one of them has the lens for the harmony lens for it. So yeah. I'll just read them out. So 2.31, the originator team, you are an inventor of a, of a new field of knowledge. 2.32 entrepreneur team you want to improve your business situation looking through the lens of economics mm -hmm. teacher coach team you like helping people to learn and achieve their goals education is the lens tech guru team you like building things with tools technology is the lens the artist team you have artistic expressions to empower arts is the lens healer team you assist others to find the healing they need health is the lens Planetary Guardians team, you want to protect the planet in some way. Philanthropy is the lens. Illuminator team, you, you like bring attention to products and people you believe in. Politics is the lens. Mediator team, you like helping people come to agreements and resolve conflicts. It's the government's <coughs> governance lens. Youth team, you are just starting out and want to learn how to create the life you want. Uh, evolution is the lens. Facilitator, you like to assist groups to go through a process and achieve a set result. Mm -hmm. uh, 
elder, you like to offer wise counsel to those who ask and repatterning is the lens, which is a new paradigm word for history. Yeah. Okay, so thoughts about that? Um, so for these, Elijah, when I went to do a test, um, can we have a, the, count, the capability of selecting more than one? If people feel they in that one. right in that one, okay. instead of just one, if you had to choose one team. Um, but I think you need one, right? Because otherwise people, because we're trying to get an idea of where people want. The yeah. one the one thing that came up when I was saying it, because if I just solely went off the definition, I said to Elijah, I'd identify with the youth. But he said, no, that's only for young people, right? So I think the youth, because, um, can you scroll up, Elijah? To the youth? Yeah. Because if you read the youth definition, you are just, or not me, but you are just starting out and want to learn how to create the life you want. So most of the people who we're seeing would identify as a youth and they're not young people. They're people in their fifties and sixties. Excuse me, that's young. <laughs> no, I mean, okay. But when I said that, Elijah's like, you wouldn't be a youth. So me, he said, you know, he would, that's why I'm saying like me, not as a youth. <laughs> Comparatively to Nathan who showed up when we did our thing. You guys. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I, I couldn't. <laughs> But it, like, because to me, it's a very broad definition. So I think if we're going to say youth, you're at an age where you're just starting out, figuring out what you're looking for. Because no. the age kind of groups it. I don't know. That was kind of the one thing that stuck out. So, th so, so this is this is more towards people that are gearing towards being members, right, of the shared knowledge community, and yeah. sort of setting them up for if they would be interested in a team. Now this, this may be, I don't know, do you think this is appropriate here or not? Now that you say it that way, it almost seems like this is two different parts. So it's almost like from an assessment inventory piece, like working with a client, which are you interested in? But then there's almost another layer of like the mastermind group, which yes. I think we've got two things going on in one. Well, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a soft sell for the mastermind teams. Let me continue on and then see how it fits into the rest. But I, okay. but it's noted. Um, so the crescendo, what are you willing to commit to? You have a dream or vision you want to bring into the world, but that is all it may ever be. You have to commit fully to bring the vision into the world in order to manifest it as well as get past the notable hardships encountered. Let us find out what, what you are willing to commit to. Primary conversation type scheduling mm -hmm. to get a synchronization between all the people involved in some activity or event. How much commitment do you have to bring your vision into the world? Commitment to value a pledge or promise obligation to something or someone. So no commitment, a little commitment when it suits me most of the time until it gets too difficult, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. uh, then how much time are you willing to commit to getting the training to bring your vision into the world none two hours a week five hours a week 10 hours a week or 20 hours a week so um one i feel like like i love this vision and this thing but at the beginning we're talking all about being our best self and so i might my vision might i might because when i think vision i think of how it's going to impact other people but when i talk about my best self how much time am I willing to commit to better myself? If I wouldn't describe that as a vision, I would describe that as a place I want to get to. So I, I think this is really important. I just think that we vision slash best self or something like that so that they don't help themselves out if they don't have a vision. Got you. Good point. So how much time are you willing to commit to getting the training? Uh, um to getting your personal development training to bring your vision into the world? I, because Carrie said earlier, people, not everybody has this vision for the world. It's too big unless you're a type seven or eight. That's a big thing for other personalities yeah. too. So I wonder in your yeah, own- Yeah, like I- Well, Carrie? No, go ahead, Laurie, sorry. 
Because in your own self growth, like you say, that's one thing. If I want to become the best me, I know I'm going to impact other people all around me, but not everybody sees it that way. So it's, I think the vision, you're right. They're two different things. So if we allot the self growth, how much time are you willing to commit to developing your best self or looking at the vision to the world, something like that to kind of give that option, the or. I would yeah, say, or, yeah. And, or bringing your vision. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. That builds it all. Because I don't think we want, like, I don't want people, I, I value what Christy said earlier, because you don't want people to tap out if they feel like, well, this was about me and that's all they really want right now. And they're not even thinking of a vision. So we want to keep our clients knowing that they have the option and that they don't feel like, oh, this is way too deep. Just wanted to take a like little self-development workshop here at the hub. So Elijah, you can, with a Google form, if they check um, personal development or vision, you can have different questions that pop up. I don't know. So I know with a Google form that's possible. So they would answer a question. It's like, do you have a vision you need help developing or are you interested in personal development? And then personal development, it would still be similar, but then you could go down the line for the vision side of things. And I think that would almost be better at a place like this because the questions still apply, but you know, it, I think it would look a bit differently. So I know that's possible with Google Forms that you can select yes or no or something, and then you get a different slant of questions. Okay. That makes sense. And then you stick with personal development for that stream of questions, mm -hmm. and then you stick with vision for the other stream. Okay. 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 Uh, next one is budget. Uh, how much of a monthly empowerment budget do you have to put, do you have to put towards bringing your vision into the world? Um, and then this, this was the beginning of looking at your revenue streams. Mm -hmm. It was like a precursor to sort of setting up for the sell later on. Yeah. Yeah. So $10, the hub factor introduction session, 10 to $50 per event for a special event cost, uh, 20 to $50 weekly, weekly three hour sessions for the masterminds, $50 for a three hour session. And again, looking at anything could be a session, but just coming up with some numbers that, you know, that yeah. people can yeah. pay for. Hundred dollars per hour. I know you guys said eighty. I was uh, yeah. per one on one co coaching session. A hundred per month allies. Thinking that we could come up with an ally program. Yeah. To get to access, you know, something in the visionary hub, but you could get like twenty, thirty, like any sort of organization out there could be an ally, and that's the beginning of getting some some monthly things where they can come to like monthly events or get something but they're paying what a hundred a month to kind of just participate in the growing networking of what the visionary hub. Cause basically I see the visionary hub is the hub, right? For the entire area. Now mm -hmm. you guys are the center point for what is, what is going to happen in Yorkton? Yeah. Uh, hundred dollars daily workshop. And again, looking at, you know, just price points of a hundred for a daily 200 for a weekend workshop, and then having like a premier weekend workshop where maybe if somebody comes from out of town, Mm -hmm. And there's bigger expenses and maybe less people that could be 500 for a weekend. Cause I know, you know, some workshops I've been to, you know, it's, it's ranging between those numbers kind of thing. But so where would dare to be you to fit into this? Cause like, I'm just thinking that's something we got going on 197 early bird and then 249, but that's five weeks at 10 hours. So it doesn't align with, Maybe it's that weekend workshop, max 20 people. I, I'm just kind of thinking about that. So yeah. what, what could, so that could be like a, that's like a program, right? Like it, yeah. it's a five week, two hours per week for five weeks. Five week. Yeah. Program. Five weeks. Yeah. 10 hour program. Yeah. And then how much is that? One time per week, one night, or oh, 249 or 247, Two, 250 for easy. Yeah, 250. 250. Yeah. 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 We're just, we're just on a call. We got papers we need to sign or no? One of the good things for the work on my office. Oh, sure, I know. Okay. Um, okay. Are we okay? 
Uh, yeah, just some little details when you get to it later, Elijah, but just cleaning up like using either max or maximum and then taking off the extra zeros so that it's all consistent. You know what I mean? Yeah. I find when I see too many zeros, I panic. Yeah. <laughs> so the less zeros, the better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, think I, it's, I think it's friendlier for people to look just without yeah. the decimal. I almost wonder if we shouldn't break it up into categories. So instead of it running down per price, if yeah. we put like poaching and then we had different types of poaching. So like individual group yeah. poaching that and then we had, you know, like sessions. So this and then mastermind so that there were people could see the elevation and level going from a big group to a small. I feel yeah. like that almost would be easier for people because then you look at it and you're like, oh, OK, so if I'm OK with being with 20 people, it's going to cost me 50 bucks or you know, okay, so I want more of that one on one, it's $100 an hour. So kind of breaking it up that way, instead of chronologically for the price points. Okay. Four key things with little breakdown underneath each of those. I know, I, I'm not sure if you can do categories within this. Um, I don't think you can, but you could just group them because if I was reading them, and it was like, group coaching, um, individual coaching you know like and and so it's always that same word of coaching and you know okay. is, is there and that's how the price changes and the same with like an event versus you know and then we could put in like the membership right so the ally contribution and i think if the ally contribution is geared toward the business we should specifically put in there um business to business membership or something like that because i'm like well why would i pay a hundred bucks but then i have to pay 200 bucks for membership dues mm -hmm. so i think we need to just classify it that way a little bit okay mm -hmm. and i get and this was the first kind of i you know you're probably doing your own way but the first time of me going okay here's all different revenue streams just mm -hmm. threw it up there now we need to take this refine yeah. it within yeah stuff you want to do and other things which i which i think are possible but uh, yeah okay i'll do that i will break that up differently yeah okay step five removing the blocks as you begin your vision into manifest as you bring your vision into manifestation you encounter blocks along the way how you deal with these blocks will determine how much your vision you will attain we here at the visionary hub assist individuals families and organizations to break through the blocks to stop your vision from occurring let us assess where you are at. So again, that would be one where personal development and vision, it might be the same question, but you would put it under the, the category almost twice and use the word like individual growth or, or whichever terminology versus vision. Okay. Yeah. Um, Those are the words yeah. you want to use, personal growth? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think just some consistency with our wording, whether we're using professional or personal development or personal growth, keep that well, the what same. What do we want it to be? Let's just decide so we can say, so do we want personal development or personal growth? I think when you develop, you get growth. I agree. Yeah. Okay, personal development. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't pay for personal growth. I'd pay for personal development if I saw it on an ad. Yeah. But that's just me. No, no, I agree because the development creates the growth. Okay. Um, so then which path do you think best represents your current situation? And then here we have another one of the models. And I'm not sure. I don't think I might have brought this up. I think Lori's seen it. But the path of suffering, you're experiencing a lot of pain and you don't know how to stop it. Path of awakening, you've awakened to new possibilities, but no serious healing yet path of healing you are consciously healing that which needs attention path of transformation you are in the middle of a major transition in your life path of the archetype you are very solid in your own identity and can achieve anything path of surrender you are letting go of ego identification and opening to spirit and then path of service you have found your true calling in life i don't know if you guys want to use the word spirit at all um because i guess with it can get a little sort of uh funny in terms of I would say universe instead of spirit if you were to do that because I but to me this is the personal development side if I were going okay I have a vision and stuff like that like serious healing like I, I feel like this fits under the 
personal development side of things, maybe not necessarily with the vision, because vision often is around a business. It will come up, but but I don't know how it fits in with the vision well, side. Well, I think it fits in because everyone, again, it's sort of like identifying where you're at. If someone's on the path of suffering, and they're on, and they want and they going down the vision side, they're going to be very different than if they're you know consciously aware of their own healing or whatever. Yeah. So I, I think it would fit with both, uh, but it may not be, so, this may be too much early on. I mean, I just think that by the end of the survey, if they answer all the questions, you're going to know exactly, okay, you're on the path of suffering. You've identified that. I didn't identify it. You identified that. And that's, that's, that's very important to know because you don't want to get like, like in a mastermind team, you don't want 10 people that are like all like archetype above and then two people that are in path of suffering. That, no. like, that will make things off. But then couldn't you then, because if they're really identifying with mastermind, couldn't you then send them like a questionnaire that's kind of going to break them up in that capacity as opposed to doing it in this big long one? Because yeah. we're really trying to evaluate. So they've expressed interest and we say, awesome. We, we want to make sure that you're fit with the right people. So we have a questionnaire. And that's where I almost think that slide of the, you know, the mastermind, you know, like there's a few other sites that those would go to those specific people and then you'd break it out. Okay. Is this, do you want me to take this off? Do you think this is too much for both of them? I don't remember it yet. Or what? Um, can it be used somewhere? No, it'll be used, but yeah. it just won't be used in this one, oh, this one yeah. streamline, yeah. like it won't be used here. It'll be guided into that after. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, know that it, it can feel a little bit overwhelming, but yeah. at the same time, I think there is a lot of merit because as, as Elijah said, whoever we're working with now has to identify where they're at. And if they don't know that yet, it might tweak a little bit of like, oh, now I actually know where I am. You know what I mean? Because I don't think people think in these kinds of terms. They don't. And I think, yeah, I think it opens people up. Uh, if I've got this survey from attending the Visionary Hub the first time, the Hub Factor, right? We're advertising. And now you're asking me to, uh, like, honestly, I would just be like, uh, I'm done, right? Like, to me, this is a second step survey once it's someone who's actually expressed interest in working with us, right? Because we're asking them to be pretty vulnerable. And, and so these questions, you have to answer that, like you don't have, I just, I think this is really important when we're determining the next step of how we're going to work for them. But I think in the initial survey. Yeah, so no, that's, that's valid. Can we lighten this path a little bit instead of having it so, so much and so deep? Can we pick a couple things that will, like at least. I don't. I don't want to water it down. Like I don't personally, but I think what Christy's saying is, is also valid. I think it's a secondary survey because we are maybe here and others that are coming are just here. And if we give them too much, it's like, mm, you know what? I'm checking out. This is too weird for me. This is too just, deep. It's too deep. And I wanted just a little oh, course. Yeah. Yeah. I just want a little course. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, have you ever gone through a process of removing your internal blocks? Uh, never, once, a few times, many times, all the time. That's pretty straightforward. So yeah. next, uh, step six, connect and unify. Book a needs analysis session. Uh, step three, that's probably too much with that step yeah. three. Yeah. Um, and then follow up when an agreement has been made, if all occurs to make sure it occurs. And so when would you like to book a session to identify how the visionary hub can assist you? I'm not interested. Send me more information, invite me to your events and let's book a needs analysis session ASAP. What do you guys think about the internal blocks question? Does it need to be in this survey or could it be in the secondary? That would be the deeper one too, possibly. I don't know. I just was thinking of it as it went past me. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think a lot of people know, like blocks is a, I, I, 
a pretty common word when you talk like in the workplace and different stuff like that. So I think it's not an uncommon thing people have talked about in the language and stuff like that. Um, maybe it needs to go, it might need to go later. I don't think it's, it's, I think it's a common terminology, but I don't know. What, what if you, uh, have you ever gone through a process of removing blocks that may be holding you back and just that, not internal blocks, not nothing, because some people, a block might be the partner in their life, their intimate partners holding them back because they have no vision. So that way they can determine what block means to them instead of saying, because none of us want to say we have an internal block, nobody. I don't care how confident we are, we don't want to say we have an internal block, even though we all do. Okay, so how, how could you word that? Not internal, not the word internal at all. Have you ever gone through a process to remove a block? Oh, I forget how I said a block from. Through a process of removing of removing your blocks or something like that. Maybe. What may be blocking you? What yeah. may be blocking you? And then it keeps it open. Because I'm going, holy shit, if I wanted to do this and I'm not able to get there, I'd love to find out what a process is I can go through, right? And that process might be deeper than they even know, but we'll figure that out. What may be blocking you? Okay, so have you ever gone through a, pro a process, not an? So have you ever gone through a process of what may be blocking you from? Moving forward. Moving forward or from? Reaching, like being your best Reaching self, models. or yeah, something like that. Have you ever gone through a process of what may be blocking you from being yourself? Mm. Best self, or reaching your goals, or stepping into your greatness, or achieving your dreams, living your best life. Maybe living your best life out of all those. I like that one the best so far. Blocking you from living your best life. Because that, again, you're determining that. The person filling that out is determining that. What do I want my best life to look like? How's that? I Have think you ever gone through a process of what may be blocking you from living your best life? Yeah. With a question mark? Yeah. What do you think, you guys? Is it good? Like, and then have you ever been? Was, so was the, did the answers? Yeah, the you, multiple you choice? Answers. Never, once, a few times, many times, all, all the time. Okay, have you ever gone through a block? Never, okay, good, Let's do a process. That's a lot safer. Yeah, yeah that's safer, exactly, mm -hmm. Elijah, for now. Connecting Unified, book and needs analysis, okay. Is there an image title? What's that one? They all say that. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. I think they all. Um, so, when would you like to book a session to identify how the Visionary Hub can assist you? I would just say, when would you like to book a session? Uh, when would you like to book a session with the Visionary Hub to assist you? Or yeah, something like that? Identify. Yeah, rather than to identify. Right. And maybe a date? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when would you like to book a session? To identify. Mm -hmm. What did I say? When would you like to book your session? To With the visionary them? hub? Or mm -hmm. no, no. give them the results. No, it's identifying, it's right. discovering. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. it's yeah. when would you like to book your session? When, this is an important question too. How soon do you want to connect with the visionary hub to um, see what's next? Or I, I don't know, or what your next steps are? Identify. 
it have to even have that? Like, could it be as simple as when would you like to book a session? Yeah. With the visionary hub. Or the yeah. next step. Or the next step. The yeah. Next step. Or the next yeah. step. Mm -hmm. When would you like to book me? Yeah. That's a good one. Your next step. Oh, it needs to have the visionary hub in there. When would you like to pin connect with the visionary hub to talk about your next step? Carrie, you had it worded. How did you say that again? I don't know. Once it comes out, it's gone. I know. I know. <laughs> well, you recorded the session, didn't you, Elijah? So then you can yeah. just go back and pull her word. <laughs> oh, yeah. When would you like I to talk? Too. When would you like to book a session with the visionary hub? Visionary hub about your next steps. Frick. <laughs> I don't know. What are, what are, what are the next steps? When would you like to book a session with the visionary hub? What are the next steps? Ask the question because they're thinking, oh, what now? What? When would you like to book that session? Okay, say it again. Like um, oh. it's a you put. What are the next steps? What book a session next? with the visionary hub to find out. Yeah. So what are the next steps or the first part of it, Elijah, rather than at the end? Because they go through all this and it's okay, now what? What's next? Find out. Okay, so I wrote it down when we were talking. Okay. So when would you like to talk to the visionary hub and then get rid of that next steps? Yeah. So when what are the next steps? Book book your Book a session with the visionary hub to find out. Yeah. 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 Book a session. Yeah. There you go. To find out. Good. And so I think, like, with that calendar, are we able to specify? Because people may book on Sunday, right? Like, so I just, you know, and put in brackets Tuesday to Thursday or two, like, because mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we need to just specify, like, specify kind of when that's available to them. Because we're. Because um. what usually happens in those calendars, they're clouded out except for the days that are available. Because when I book my time with Node Smith, They've only got bolded the days that are available. It's almost like he's booked the rest of the time. So what that's a special like. booking calendar that you have to buy to put in there. Oh, okay. so that's software that he uses, I think. Or Calendly. Okay. I think Calendly does that, right? Yeah. Calendly? Yeah. Calendly. And, and there you can set it up so you can do that. Okay. But here, okay. I don't know if it has that ability. Um, okay. Could you put a checkbox? Three check box like multiple choice like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and and they just check one off, at, or multiple choice like options. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you could say you know two weeks, one week, immediately or something like that. You see the urgency. Yeah, something. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they could check off if those are the days, and then we could say you know this week within the next month. Or something like that. So maybe maybe that would be better a week, a month, or whatever. And then because we're going to be connecting with them, so I mean we can select the hours to book it to book them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have to get down to the hours. So. No. Or within the next three months, maybe it would be the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, um, wow. and then, then not at all, because I think we need to give them the option. They don't want to book anything, right? Maybe. Not interested, you mean? Yeah. Not interested in not my right now. growth. Who wants to tick that off? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Not interested in my own personal growth. <laughs> <laughs> <Loser>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the finish. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to do this.
It takes a big leap of faith to believe that someone cares about you and your vision. You expose yourself here and we are very appreciative of that. It takes courage and tenacity to get this far. We look forward to getting to know you and work together and help you change the story of your life. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Appreciation to recognize quality, value, and significance of someone or something. Yeah. And then do you feel that we understand where you're coming from? Definition, the mental process of a person who comprehends comprehension or personal interpretation. Mm -hmm. And then not at all, a little bit, pretty much so, very much so, completely. And that was sort of like at the end, just saying, okay, as a result, we just asked these questions. Do you feel like you're understood, which most people want, right? They want to feel yeah. like you understand where they're at. Um, and then how high is your level of trust of the visionary hub in the moment? And again, sort of like looking, well, as a result of this, are you more, less or more trusting to value a person on whom or thing on which you want to rely upon? And then no trust to full trust zone. So mm -hmm. that's the beginning of going into the, the trust zone map mm -hmm. for later on. Then gratitude, we feel immense gratitude that you have completed this relationship, that this uh, assessment survey. This survey, how about we just say survey instead of assessment? Yeah. This survey, if this is not your cup of tea, we wish you all the best. If you need more information, we will send it. If you want to book a session, we, we look forward to seeing you. And then that's it. Yeah. And then that's gratitude. Huh. Awesome. So <clears throat> how, how is this getting to people, you guys? It'll go through an email because it's a Google form. They have their email. Okay. And then the email address, and then the responses automatically load into a Google sheet. You just program it, and then we can go in and write, Elijah, that's how you're going to set it up? Well, you can do it that way. You can also, I think, embed it in the website. Uh, mm -hmm. so they could come to the website and, and that's what I'd like to see. Um, probably both would work. Can it go into a Facebook feed? You know how those things, I don't know what they're called, but people like to go, people like to go, I want to fill out this little questionnaire thing and then it tells you you're the princess or whatever. You might want to do a small, like Facebook. I think those are usually very small, right? Okay. Yeah, they're like three or four questions only usually. And that's kind of good too. If we, if something like that to take them to that. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That's where I think that, you know, the um, 12 types you were talking about, like the tech guru or that, that's mm -hmm. where I think you could really put out a Facebook survey in that capacity. And you could just, you know, have tech guru, but a picture of something funny in the middle or something building. And then what do you identify? And they click and maybe it's three questions. And so they get right. the pink between that so that's we could do it that way for something and then okay. spark our mastermind right yeah that's awesome. so we're coming to the, the end here and i'm just a uh, little feedback on the whole thing in terms of of what you think overall kind of thing um amazing oh um the cards are fabulous because when those cards show up they just touch my they heart they really yeah. stand out there's something new people don't see that stuff so that's making us stand out big time because there's so much repetition out there right now in the world of coaching and things like that it's so repetitive mm. this is something so unique the writing was small in the questions you know like i mean my eyes aren't the greatest but i found the font small is that because you're a youth <laughs> I think it's because he's sharing your screen. It's it's not that small when you do a Google form because okay. when I did it with Elijah, like when I was doing it on my screen, uh -huh. I think it's because he's sharing it and so you're further back. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, no, I really love that, Elijah, and appreciate it. For me, I like to I'd like to sit with it again and go through it because for me I like to have a, a bit of a chronological flow. So I felt like maybe there were a couple questions that we could put in a different place but it wouldn't change the overall outcome, just how it would flow to me. Like it almost like, okay, we're starting superficial and now we're getting a little deeper and now I know what I have to do. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of the way I thought about it. Yeah. Um, maybe what I can do is I can do, cause it's a, to do the vision versus personal development is quite a probably, I mean, it's a big thing just to kind of go there and change it all. Mm -hmm. I can do that. And then I think I made all of you guys editors and maybe he could go to each person then and sort of each person could tweak it kind of like the way you want it kind of mm -hmm. I think. 
and then by mm -hmm. the end, I think we'll have something that's that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Makes sense. Uh, how are you determining the results then? Like what? Like, are you creating like categories? Well, it goes into a database, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet of responses. So you'll have the name and then you see the answers. And so at some point, you know, we could take, you know, if they chose this, 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 and this, you know, they go here. And if they chose this, this, and this, I mean, you'll just be able to read it and see it. Um, you but, can do but, a search with the field. So if you, if you're looking at all the answers that you got, what you can do is you can put a word and it'll pull up all the places. So so we can sort the answers ourselves in that capacity too. And so uh, today, Sylvia and I did a something I haven't done with the other three of you yet. Um, it's a, sort of like a needs analysis, wants analysis map where you write down what you want and then you do values on top of it. And then this is one of the, the first- Oh, we did it. Oh, yes. <laughs> we did it at the end <laughs> so quickly. Sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't. No, you you didn't. I know. You can do it because uh, we 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 missed, but we'll do it next time. Yeah. Well, I you know what, Sylvia and I have an opportunity to lead you through the process. Why don't we do it that way? Because he taught us. Yeah. So why don't we do it with you, like you did something with us? Yes, that's a good way of doing it. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like teaching, right, to yeah. learn. Then you can send me the results too. Um, there's something I wanted to discuss with you. There's one thing I have a project management system, it's not Trello, but it, it's Rike. And for the first time I'm able to program, like I've been waiting for years to find the program that can actually do what I want to do with it. So I'm currently now creating it for you and creating you know, the sort of the project management system to run everything. And I know that uh, you like Trello, Christian. I'm just wondering if you're okay with that. Um, oh, I don't care if you change it. I just know Trello. So I guess if you're changing it. Um, I think you'll get it. I mean, it's just, it's just a little different. Most of them are the same, right? I mean, it's, it's organized by spaces and then folders and then projects. So it, it, and there's color coding and there's... It's, oh, I like color coding. It's, I've used a sauna too. And so a sauna similar to that. Yeah. So I, I think if, if, if I get it, then it's just a matter of being able to organize it and explain it to the team. So I just introduced Trello last week. Okay. Okay. So if you, if you guys don't mind, this is a major thing um, because I'm seeing how to do everything from this, from this one. Program. How do you spell it? Uh, right. W-R-I-K-E. Okay. And is it an app? form too or is it just a desktop i'm sure it's probably both it's it's a pretty sophisticated system and and it did when you look at the relationship between trello and reich i just read a thing that looked at the differences and just reich does have some things which trello doesn't which i sort of need to do my programming on my end does it integrate with google so that you get i'm sure it probably integrates with everything but i mean i i don't know i just had it for a couple of weeks and i'm just sort of playing around with it so and it starts at like 980 a user per month actually no it's it's 20 i thought it was that no it's 26 dollars. so okay. it's, it's very inexpensive and i might be able to get a bit better deal i'm selling them on the idea of, of using 144,000 people in this so oh good for you so part of the shared knowledge community is we're building an infotech system that the info matrix is and then we're going to like we're we're going to all these companies and we're choosing which infotech platform fits and then we're sort of building the larger system that connects them all together right so at some point we're going to have a lot of power and it's just getting everyone on the same page and i think what sylvie was talking about today about automation right you want to we want to set these processes up so you come in here go to here go to here go to here and a lot of value for your clients uh, Do you have an API guy? Because Lori mentioned that you have one guy that's gotten busier because I worked with the guy at Hilberg and Burke that does API that's amazing and he does contract work. Oh, does he? Okay. Yeah, uh, I can, I, he's in, he was, I can get his email and, and just share it with you, but like he built for Hilberg and Burke so our systems would talk to each other and stuff and that was kind of his area. So if you need somebody, I'm happy to pass along his info and you can see whether you could utilize the skills or it made sense. 
Okay, so that's it. Mm, that's huge. That totally makes sense. So when you say 144,000 and all over the world and bringing that capacity because stuff sells in numbers, boy. Yeah. Wow. And, and I've basically, within this, maybe next week, I'll take you through the program together. So that okay. You get all, and, and I'll probably with Christy ahead of time, go more into detail with you. Mm -hmm. and then get your feedback on things maybe how to organize and then as a team we can do it because i think again we just got to find the real big pieces that are going to get you guys off the races right so so are we so, still continuing on our weekly sessions elijah yeah i mean right now your book for four i think two have paid two haven't um and so we're we're booked for four sessions and then we sort of renegotiate and take a look at you know what what the situation is wasn't this week four? No, this week was three. Was it three? I thought it was four. I thought it was four too, because we started back in. Um, you know, so was it to, uh, April 13th? Oh, and then we went to April 22nd. And then April 29th. Oh, nice. so okay. This is week. Last week. Okay. Yeah, no. that's why I wasn't sure. Okay, so <laughs> you guys want to renew for another month? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to. We have to, yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll find a time. I, I, I hooped the pooch today. I missed the appointment. I thought we were only doing the group one today. No, yeah. we'll reschedule. Yeah. Yeah. So Elijah, before you go, like, how was it with the four of us? Can you handle all the energy? Like, how was it from your perspective? Because this is what we do every time we meet. Well, I don't know. I, I think it's difficult to get buy-in on a document like to get everyone's input at, like to do what we did today I think is phenomenal I mean I, I think that you know we're getting and there's a lot of intelligence there's a lot of perspectives and so to honor everyone's points and just to you know make sure that all the feedback gets taken into account. Right person. I mean it's, it's uh I do I, I got to admit depending on groups and group energy I'm a little sensitive and <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm getting better, I think. And, and I mean, you guys are also open and, and uh, warm, so it's it's wonderful, I think, to work with you. So, just wanted to check in, make sure you're all good, Elijah. Yeah, oh, it's great. It's great. I think everything's going really well. And I'm just hoping on your end, because I, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, there's a reality back in where you guys are that's a little different from from what we're doing. So I I know I bring in the ideal, and then there's reality. So. Yeah, that's reality. Well, that's why why Christy is, helps with that perspective to keep us down because the yeah. other three of us can float pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so. and there's a we really haven't touched in the relationship of let's say using the Remedy Oracle and then bringing in this new chat room software. So there, there's some other pieces coming in that I think you'll get pretty excited about once we start to use them um because like there's nothing like it on the planet like you guys are the first, first guys to bring this in and in saskatchewan you know so. and in saskatchewan yet oh, so are we doing a group meeting again next week you're going to review the um, I think, yeah i think so for sure the right thank you so we're going to do individual next week and then another group session. So I think between the four of us, we need to schedule a different session to talk about some of the housekeeping and event planning on our own. So we'll just have to, we need to, we can figure that out on Messenger. Um, Carrie yeah. and Sylvia, why don't you just shoot out some times and then, or whichever, and we'll just do it. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do that. I think um, what's really good is to start seeing some of the stump come to fruition and then so we can start pushing it out so having I I know how much work it is Elijah to create a google form I've had to do it lots and I just really want you to know how much I appreciate the detail and the knowledge that you brought to it because that is just such an intense thing uh, it you know you can get lost and it can become overwhelming so that tool I think is going to really help us go to the next level with our clients mm -hmm. so I just really want to appreciate the fact that you put that time in because you turned it around really quick I'm really impressed well from my point of view before going in to redo it I was looking let's say at three billable hours of let's say three hundred dollars 
Mm -hmm. so I, yeah. I, I, there was probably more time in that, but I kind of like, I'm just, I want to keep things kind of like very fair and uh, not, and, and that's where something I want to talk to you about, like there's time I'm spending on things where I'm not charging you. There's mm -hmm. times specifically I'm with you face to face where it's obviously I'm charging you. And then there's other things which I can do, which I, I wouldn't do unless I was sort of paid. And some of that is like making nice maps. It's like taking the maps we're doing and then make them really nice. So it's something you can show to clients, yeah. something that's like just a higher end. Yeah. You have the maps, but if you pencil them in or pen them in, it's not so nice. So I, I would like to take the maps we're doing and again, you know, give you top level things that you, you then can show to your clients and go, this is what I did and this is what they want, right? Because the map is- the identity of the hub on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I, I think those are really good points. And I know even for myself, as I've started working with different people in different capacities, for us from a budgeting perspective, I think it would almost, if it's possible to look at a package of, so yes, you're working with, you know, you've got four times four, 16 hours. So maybe that's 20 hours of face-to-face -face time. I don't know, right? If we're only meeting once... And then it's like, okay, and then there's this work behind the scenes. So for you, you know, hey, I've got this much coming in from them and we know how to budget that our development is costing this much money, but we all need to get trained. Like I just know, because we talked about our time with you was all going to be billed through the hub. And so then the hub would cover that expense. So that's why I think a couple of us, we just hadn't, we were just trying to figure out what that, that looked like. So we haven't forgotten about paying you because I know that's important, but I think I personally would, I, I really enjoy working with you and you have a lot and you give us a lot more than you charge us for, I think. But I also know, you know, you need to be valued for what you do. And so if you could put together, okay, in a month, these are, you know, the things you guys have identified and working with you. Now I've done the process. So here's the map so you can start doing them with clients. So it's almost like that back end work. That's kind of what I do when I put together packages for clients. I think that would be better for us because then we know how much we're spending every month on it. And it helps us really stay on track for what expenses are and that we're all kind of knowing what, is that fair, everybody? Does that seem reasonable to you guys? Mm-hmm. And bringing the new paradigm toolkits, honestly, you guys, there's grants. There's grants to bring this stuff out to the world. Okay, so, so then that's really important. I don't know much about grants. Mm -hmm. um, so if there is, we need to just set some time aside as a group that we, we spread that out and say, who's taking what on? Let's figure this out so we can actually do it. So it sounds like I know for sure we need three meetings as a group, one with Elijah next week, one for the summer program for kids, and then one's for some grants and other stuff. Mm -hmm. And I heard there was a, a someone who was very interested that was wanting to participate. And that's like the beginning of more members or allies coming in and then figuring out where they're at. And a big thing they can do is they can do a lot of, let's say the work in exchange, like sort of like paying their dues and they can do some volunteer work and so you could start to look at, and this is within the project management system, right? Of seeing, okay, well, what is, what's the work that I have to do? What, what, what can anyone do? And what That's a great do? idea, what you just said, because I think we're all finding there's stuff like that that needs to get done. And I was just telling Elijah about Melissa, who really wants to be involved in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a perfect example of taking some of this stuff and saying, you know, typically there'd be a membership fee and even with node, right? Maybe instead of a membership fee, he does some help work with the four of us. Right. right? Well, and I think on that paper, I, like at some point I'm seeing like a $200 membership fee yeah. mm -hmm. and that creates like actually $288,000 a month. Yeah. Right? So that's a large cash flow. And out of the 200, part of that would be sort of like infotech costs or like depends on how you want to structure the money. But the idea being that the people who are in the hub are making like two to 5,000 a month. So yeah. 200 is covered. Like they will pay the 200 because they're now making, you know, the, the money out of, out of uh, what they learned and, and stepping into their ideal job and their vision and whatever they're creating with you. Right. So just to sort of think in the background that the founders are kind of like, you're the first people paid. 
you're the first people that as you bring the members in, you're creating this boundary where you're the boundary here. You're, you're creating your value container and then people are coming and as they come in, they're either a member, an ally or a customer and you're determining again who they are and then going, okay, well, if they're a member and they want to be a member, but let's say they don't need money, then they can, let's say, donate 10 or 20 hours a week, put their time in, become like an apprentice and start to learn the tools and, and the processes as you go. And, and each one of you at some point, let's say, having an assistant that's helping you to, to, to do what you're going to do, right? So uh, either paid or not paid, depending upon how much revenue is coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's some people that can't afford, right? Yeah. But they can put in time. Yeah. And I love that. I love creating that opportunity for people because then you, you don't take it away from people who can't afford it. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And that's what we're all about is we're Maslow's hierarchy. How do we bring the people that are here at the base up levels that want to be? Yeah. And the only thing that's held them back is affordability. Yeah, yeah. And I think because you're all such beautiful, warm hearted, kind beings, that mm-hmm. money is not your driving factor and your service to the world is the driving factor. But you still have to make money. But I think for most organizations, you know, that's, that's, that's going to take, you know, you, you're the heart of Yorkton, right? You really want to help your whole community grow and get where they want to go. So I think word, word will spread, right? I mean, yeah. good things oh, it, are supported. When I set up the cell phone, I was telling the manager of the TELUS kiosk, and she goes, Yorkton needs that. She gave me her cell phone number because she's like, I just want to get connected. So like, and, and so she's a manager there. So I think, so now I'm like, hey, this week I'm doing the business cards and the postcards. The week has gotten so busy, but tomorrow they're going to be done and I'm going to send you a proof because we just need that to hand out to people. Mm-hmm. But I, I, the one thing we talked about a little bit, and I know we're kind of at the end of our time, Elijah. So it's just, we really need to determine the uh, allies, customers, and what's the other one? Members. I just try Members. That. Pardon? The members. Yeah. So because we have no cost tied to anything right now, and we have these people showing up for stuff. So ladies, we need to really determine what that they get with that and what the cost is sooner rather than later. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And I like the $200 membership fee. And so that's something, you know, if you have any um work elijah that you know like paid stuff you already have done that would help us kind of figure that out if you could email it you don't need to go create something but just that would actually help us decide on that and put it in place if you don't that's okay but i think that's kind of our next step okay. that we need to actually concretely yeah. decide and what does it look like as a tribe or a member what does it look like as an ally and what does it look like as a customer yeah right. This is what's included. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> lovely to see you all. Great to see your smiling faces. I'm very excited about this. And okay. So are we meeting next week, um, same time, same place. Yeah. If that's good with you guys. So next Thursday, three o'clock, Saskatchewan time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thursday is the big day for me. Woo. Today's the big day. Aww. Yeah, you know what? I don't blame you. I know how you're feeling, man. We got a great, fabulous group of four amazing women here to take this out. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Me too. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. And then you guys will just connect on Messenger for our other times next week. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. See you guys. See you later. See you tomorrow, I guess. Hey, sometime. Bye, everybody. Yeah.